All right, my name is Captain Irving, and you're in F Troop. Now, oh, kitty. One big advantage O'Rourke Enterprises has is they've got the only saloon for a hundred miles. If anybody wants to wet their whistle, they have to do it there. It's a pretty sweet deal. Thank you. The only thing that would make it a sweeter deal is Lee Merriweather. And there she is. Yeah, those Indians sure know how to make whiskey. I'd hate to get hit by an arrow dipped in that stuff. I think that's the best batch the Hakawi ever sent. The last shipment had just a taste of moccasin. Don't ask how he knows what a moccasin tastes like. The new lady is checking out the town. Is it the other way around? Must be the parasol. Oh, howdy, ma'am. Howdy. Always happy to help a stranger in town. Oh, that's very kind of you. Um, uh, oh, O'Rourke's name, ma'am. Sergeant Morgan O'Rourke. The name's O'Reilly. Lily O'Reilly. Well, be gosh and be going now. A daughter of the old son. A chip off the old Blarney stone. A little Irish camaraderie. Too bad it's not going to last very long. So I'm going to set up business here. Oh, how nice. Just what this town needs, a little dress shop. Oh, no, I'm opening a saloon. Oh, Begora, she just became an adversary. <laughs> Sir! He may need to spend some time explaining that to Agarn. She just leased a building across the street and is turning it into a rival saloon. You mean to tell me that Clem Witherspoon really let me down and rented her that place now? Don't blame Clem. Riley's a beautiful woman. He held out as long as he could. How long was that? Till she walked through the door. <laughs> well, what kind of a lease did it give her? 99 years with an option for 99 more. I wonder what he thinks she'll look like by then. It's got to be the parasol. But she still has to get a liquor permit from Captain Parmenter. O'Rourke will head over right now to see that he doesn't give her one. The captain has a more immediate problem, figuring out how to salute with his hand in this condition. I got my hand caught in this cookie jar. <laughs> Here, let me help you, sir. Let's see now. Oh, 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 let's open up the fist. Huh? There we go. Ever heard of a monkey trap, Captain? Captain, there's something I'd like to discuss with you that affects the welfare of the troop. Oh, certainly. You care for a cookie? Uh, no, thank you. You see, this woman has come to town, and she... <laughs> the monkey trap works because the monkey can't figure out that he needs to tip the jar over and dump the cookie banana out. Good thing we humans are smarter than that. Captain, Captain, I can assure you. Open up that's it. We're still evolving. Agarn's little act convinces the captain he won't be issuing any more liquor permits to anyone for any reason. This sequence was brought to you by stuntmen and composers having the time of their lives. Ah, uh, you must be Captain Parmenter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Lily O'Reilly. I come to ask for a liquor permit. <laughs> How soon do you want it? <laughs> oh, by the way, when does this permit expire? 99 years? But I'll give you an option for 99 more. Gotta admire his resolve. And yes, the 99 years thing is a running gag. O'Rourke hasn't met the woman he can't handle, so he's gonna have a talk with Miss O'Reilly. He has to tell her about the owner of this saloon. Who's Widow Brown? Well, she, uh, she owns this place. Has 16 children, no husband. He's dead. Yeah, that's why we call her the Widow Brown. Good thinking. If you were to open a place across the street, well, you might put the Widow Brown out of business. She'd had nothing but 16 hungry children, 
no husband. And that's why you call her Widow Brat. Lily says, I'm surprised she's still in business serving whiskey that tastes like moccasin. We don't want to know how she knows either. Bartender. Yes, Sergeant. What seems to be the trouble? The lady is complaining about the whiskey. She says it tastes awful. Now get us a bottle of your best. Oh, you know the only whiskey we got is what them Indians make and... Uh, hey, Wild Eagle, we need a sign printed. Bartender wanted. Must be able to keep big mouth shut. Ah, this has been an interesting conversation. <laughs> now, just a minute. I'd like to invite you to the opening of my saloon, sir. Or should I say... Widow Aurora. At the Hakawi camp, we're going to get the answer to one of our questions. Put more wood on fire. Move faster on foot. Time to change moccasins. Now we know why it tastes like wet moccasins. No, I don't. I'm taking their word for it. Nice to see Honeysuckle Rose back on Colonel Mashing. Oh, she perfect for job. Only squaw and tribe with flat feet. Honeysuckle Rose is a song by Fats Waller written in 1929. It was also a 1980 movie starring Willie Nelson that spawned one of his biggest hits, On the Road Again. Now we know where they all got their inspiration. They sit down with Wild Eagle and explain that this new saloon could put them all out of business. Wild Eagle is appropriately alarmed. She's bound to come here wanting to buy whiskey, so don't sell her any and she'll have to pack up and leave. This new saloon keeper is a woman. Squaw? <laughs> then what is problem? We run her out of business. Chief, this ain't your ordinary everyday corn stomping basket weaving squaw. Squaw is squaw. How soon you want it? Immediately. Oh, and Chief. How long can I uh, count on you to keep this agreement? 99 years with option for 99 more. Squaw is squaw, and that definitely squaw. By the way, O'Rourke, I plan to uh, move my location of my saloon. Yeah, the next territory, I hope. No, no, just across the street. Your place. My place? Well, O'Rourke, you wouldn't want me to tell the army that you own the saloon, now would you? O'Reilly, that's blackmail. Yes, it is, isn't it? Even better, it's effective blackmail. The line to get into the saloon is clear across the street. Some men are waiting 12 hours to get in the door. Once he got in the door, Agarn only had to wait another six hours to get to the bar. You mark my words, I'm going to run you out of this town, O'Reilly. For that, you'd have to join a temperance league. That gives him an idea. A really stupid one, but an idea. Friends, this is the day we save your souls. Save them from the evils of demon rum. He's laying it on thick. Maybe a little too thick. Hallelujah, brothers, I've got the word! Hey, God, where are you going? To spread the word in that temple of wickedness! Repent, you sinners, repent! Satisfy, satisfy! Don't you have to pent before you can repent? Are you all right? Huh? I guess I don't want to be saved, son. Now look what you started, a real Donnybrook. How can you not love it? I remember thinking, where'd all those guys come from? I was 12, I had no idea what stock footage was. Meanwhile, the grown-ups are laughing their butts off, and not one of those him would explain to a 12-year-old what was so funny. Aurora? You're a mess. <laughs> yeah, so's my saloon. He tried to go in and break up the fight. He tried to single-handedly break that up. No wonder all he got was a couple of fists in his own face. She says, you can have your saloon back now. Not so tough without your parasol, are you, lady? You know something, O'Rourke? What? You tried every way to beat me but the right way. Well, uh, what's the right way? You know, it's a pity anybody had to do a kissing scene with Lee Merriweather. The pity is, it's always somebody who isn't me. 
You can have the saloon back. <laughs> it's your saloon, O'Rourke. I'm going to Dodge. Her plans changed as such things do. She went to Gotham City and turned to crime for a while. Once she got out of prison, she went back to school and got her doctorate in time travel physics. If you've been a fan of this channel for a while, you know the rest. If you're enjoying this, be sure to click the thumbs up button to show you like it. If you're not subscribed yet, punch me in the face right here and get it done. And don't forget that you can become a patron and help keep this kitty fed. The link is below. Until next time.